Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Owe Mekwan. In today's video, I want to do the part two of the prerequisite to elevation. Humility has been preached, talked about, and lectured in so many different ways by a lot of people over years. But it feels like we've lost touch of the true meaning and intent of humility according to the word of God. And because of this, a lot of people are not excited to be humble. People are more excited to show themselves. People are more excited to show their importance and be proud. But nobody is excited about humility. Humility brings you elevation. You cannot be elevated. You cannot be lifted up if you are proud at heart. So these are the myths around humility. Number one, humility has been seen as a sign of weakness, lack of confidence, shyness, wimpiness, low self-esteem, as if you are trying to lower your ability or to suppress your ability so that you won't look prideful before people. But that's a lie. Humility is a virtue. The second myth, humility has been seen as timidity. When people walk in fear, of showing out their true potential because they fear to be used. They are afraid to be hurt. They are afraid of something that they don't even know. So they just try to lower themselves. I'm not saying you shouldn't be careful and safe in this wicked world, but the aspect of being timid is not God's will. The Bible says, I have not given you the spirit of fear, which is timidity, but the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So as someone that God has given sound mind, what makes you try to lower your potential when you know you have more inside of you? What makes you try to give just a little? What makes you feel like if I show everything, people will feel like I'm showing off. If I give it on percent people will feel like i'm just being too full of myself no that's opposite of humility you are operating under timidity under fear daniel in babylon and the three hebrew boys had it been the coward then they would have missed god's elevation in their lives daniel said i will not partake in the king's meat and the king's meal i will not eat from this table same thing with the three hebrew boys they said we are not bowing to this image we have a god they stood up and stepped out and god showed up for them humility brings honor and if you don't come to a place of understanding that humility is actually courage you miss it all number three humility is said to bring humiliation as if you'll be used manipulated and controlled by someone or something so you don't want to be humble because it feels like if you are humble people will use you that's a lie that's a myth and many people have been shying away from being humble or embracing humility because of these misconceptions and the truth is humility doesn't bring humiliation it brings honor the reverse is that pride brings humiliation so if you want to go show yourself be ready for what comes next because you can't tell c.s lewis said humility is not thinking less of yourself it's thinking of yourself less that's a powerful illustration it's not about trying to downgrade yourself Yourself. What is real humility? Number one, humility is a spiritual virtue. As much as it has been misunderstood and taken for granted and even abused, such that humility is only attributed to the poor people who don't have anything. Of course, we know that there are people that are rich and they still humble themselves, but it's rare. You find most of them trying to show up and trying to oppress others with what they have. But humility is walking knowing who you are, but then you are not trying to overemphasize your importance over others yeah in reality you could be better than them you could be more knowledgeable than them more fine and handsome and beautiful than them more elegant and you could have more than them but it's not your place to try to elevate yourself above them in your mind so in the kingdom humility is a spiritual virtue it helps for unity it helps for oneness that is why in a home that there is no humility which is the submission to each other husband and wife submitting to each other there is bound to be trouble but where people are staying humbly together you see the joy and the communion between them the fellowship between them so as a spiritual virtue humility is birth in obedience and submission to god and the true picture of a humble person is jesus that's what you should study regarding your humility if you want to be humble be humble like jesus he was not closing his eyes to the truth just to not look like he's challenging people be free from pride-filled opinions for they will only harm your cherished unity don't allow self-promotion to hide in your heart but in authentic Take humility, put others first, and view others as more important than yourself. It's a decision. Number two, humility is a posture of the heart. Humility is not about the outward dressing, someone dressing a certain way that looks humble, or the other person that talks like they are whispering. 
you know, when they want to talk, you know, they don't really talk loud. And it's not like that. Someone could just have a personality of speaking loud. That doesn't mean they're not humble. So humility is not about this personality trait. It's about the posture of your heart, how you are regarding the people in your life, how you are seeing yourself. Because it takes a secure person to really be humble. And we have a lot of people today who practice pseudo humility, false humility, fake humility. They're walking around doing eye service, trying to get favor from people. But the posture of their heart is totally weak and wrong and different so humility is revealed in authenticity not in pretense being your true self without a sense of false pride humility is not conformity because the scripture even addresses this for the believers you don't have to conform to the world so that you could be looked at as someone that is humble you were called to be transformed because scripture says that friendship with the world is enmity with god by the time you try to live in the world's patterns and ways and forsake the will of god and the patterns of the kingdom that is where you're missing the whole thing because you forget where your loyalty should lie god resists the proud but he gives more grace to the humble there is grace for you to be humble and there is grace when you are humble submit yourself therefore to god resist the devil and he will flee from you. The secret is that it's about the posture of your heart. That's what true humility looks like. Number three thing, humility is intentional. You choose to be humble. God doesn't force anybody to become humble. It's a choice that he has left for you. You can only choose it. If he forces you, it means you were in pride and he humiliates you because pride leads to humiliation. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God so that at the proper time, he may exalt you. Humility is not a thing that because you are humble, anybody can just insult you. Anybody can slap you and go away. Anybody can talk down on you. No, you shouldn't agree to that because you're humble. No, that's not humility. Humility is actually standing up to the errors and the falsehood and the wrong things that are happening. Like Jesus, he stood up to the things that were going wrong in the culture of his time that the religious leaders were doing. It wasn't like, oh, because you're a humble person, why should you talk? Should have just been quiet. No, 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 no. Humility is not silence. Humility is loyalty and submission to God. So which means anything that tries to threaten my loyalty to God, I will stand up to that. And this you should know, that humility is attractive to God. God loves humble people. God honors humble people because God didn't not make a man that will be full of himself. God made a man in his own image and likeness to reflect his glory and honor. God make a man that will be able to live a life that will shine light to others and the glory will go back to him. That is why God loves humble people because humble people will always come to God and bow to him and submit to him and ask of him and request of, of him. And now you can come to the throne of grace boldly and receive mercy and grace whenever you need it. A humble person is the picture of a life submitted to Jesus Christ. Humility is intentional. It is not something that just happens out of the blues. It is something that you chose. But if you have a modest opinion about yourself and choose to humble yourself, you will be honored. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I appreciate the fact that you've watched this and I hope it has added value to you. If you've learned anything from this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and I ask you also to drop the questions you have regarding this very topic down in the comment section. Let's discuss from there. And I would like this conversation to continue. What is humility to you? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.